Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology. And in this video lecture, we are going to talk about the best way to prepare CSI UGC NET Unit 13 as well as Unit 12. We will talk about uh, both these units together because uh, in Unit 12, it's uh, the application based uh, biology and Unit 13, it's the biological techniques. So both are kind of uh, mixed together. So in Unit 12, we have this uh, plant tissue culture, we have uh, the Gene, gene therapy, we have uh, plant biotechnology like market assisted selection and all, uh, agrobacterium mediated gene delivery system, these are the most important topics of unit uh, 12, fermentation technology, very important topic of unit 12, but in unit 13 there are a lot of different techniques, okay, the techniques from the cell biology, molecular biology, biochemistry and so many different topics there are techniques for example there are biochemistry techniques example uh, there are chromatography techniques right from cell biology there are fluorescent activated cell sorting techniques frap uh, flip those techniques are there and uh, there are also techniques related to facts from uh, unit like unit 2 or cell biology from molecular biology there are dna's footprinting techniques out there dna uh, molecular markers like rflp rpd AFLP, all these techniques are there and biophysical techniques are there like extra crystallography, CD spectroscopy, NMR spectroscopy, uh, like uh, uh, all these other things like, uh, as I said, mass spectroscopy, mass spectroscopy, microscopy and all these techniques are there. So, and also in the syllabus, if you check the syllabus, it's also included the biomedical techniques that is CT scan, MRI and all these things. And there are also some sort of biostatistics uh, topics are also included there. They ask question uh, from all these topics, try to touch all these topics, at least, at least one question from all these topics, but it's very difficult. The total number of question you will get from uh, unit 12 and 13 combined in part C will be near about 15 to 16 or even more than that. Sometimes 20 questions even. From unit 13 alone, you can expect 12 to 13 questions. So this is a very, very important unit, right? Very, very important unit. One of the most important units for CSI net exam. But most of the students find it very difficult to prepare. The reason behind it is that in unit 13, uh, there is no fixed way to prepare. There is no fixed book from where you can study about all the techniques. The best thing that you need to do about the unit 13 is for every single technique that you want to study is you need to learn these five, six things about this technique. So what is that technique? Why this technique is used? Where this technique is used? When this technique is used? and the advantages and disadvantages of these techniques. For every single techniques, you need to know all these things, all these small details. I know many students who read these techniques from different books, they read it everything, and then come down to, and I ask, like uh, a hypothetical situation, this is what you need to find out in a cell, which technique you are going to use, and they feel it blank, like they don't know what to answer. Because while you prepare the techniques, you just focus more on how the technique is done. It is important to understand how the technique is done. But another thing which is more important is when the technique is done and where the technique is done. At what situation a researcher should use that technique to derive some information. That's more, more important to understand. Okay. So when you read these techniques, you know, there is no fixed book. I always tell students to read this techniques chapter from uh, like different resources that they get from online resources, from any kind of book they have in hand. And they must have a notebook where they note the, all these techniques. Okay. And write down the name of the technique and write after the name of the technique, write about what is the technique, how it's done, when it's done. Uh, what uh, is about this technique which is advantage which is disadvantage and all these things you should write all these things okay about every single technique so i can divide this techniques one is the rdt based techniques recombinant dna technology they ask two three questions from this chapter every single uh, time then there are these biophysical techniques they ask three to four questions from biophysical techniques that is the spectroscopic techniques okay any kind of spectroscopic techniques cd spectroscopy nmr spectroscopy uh, like uh, like CD, like extra crystallography is there, mass spectroscopy is there, uh, and and all these things are out there. From there, they can ask questions. This is these are known as biophysical techniques. From microscopic, they may ask, may not ask a question every single time. And then there are these biomedical techniques. They may ask one question or may not ask any question. And there is also this statistics, biostatistics questions. And biostatistics questions sometimes they ask this deviation mean like 
uh, mean uh, things and the deviation based question from these topics sometimes you know particularly the chi square test is really important and also the degree of confidence uh, that uh, in a chi square test level is really important sometimes they ask question from that the mathematical question from that so these are the topics that you need to understand for unit 13 so so the best way to prepare unit 13 i can tell you is that not to keep unit 13 as a separate unit you know while you're preparing different units you're preparing unit 1 once the unit 1 is done you're preparing unit 2 once unit 2 is done prepare unit 3 like that but for unit 13 you should not keep unit 13 apart like that you should prepare unit 13 along with all the other units because the unit 13 is huge so that unit 13 should not pile up you should start with unit 1 biochemistry while you're running uh, like reading biochemistry Along with that, read the techniques related to biochemistry. That is, you know, the uh, chromatographic techniques and also the, when you're reading unit 2, you should run the facts technique, okay? Uh, while you're uh, reading unit thir 3, you should run about, uh, you should read about the 2D gel electrophoresis, SDS page techniques, okay? As well as the DNS footprinting techniques, all these techniques. So that's why while you're reading different uh, units, you should understand and read and learn about the associated techniques from those units this is very very important okay keep this thing in your mind if you do that at the end of the other 10 11 unit preparation at the end of the 10 11 unit preparation your 13 unit will be prepared all together otherwise if you keep 13 unit for the last it will be a huge mess for you because there are a lot of topics and remember unit 13 as i told you is one of the most important topic one of the most important chapters for csr gcnet exam now for unit 12 uh, as I told you earlier, uh, you need to prepare very well regarding the root nodule formation, the agrobacterium mediated gene delivery systems. Okay, this is very, very important. If you need, if you read that properly, it's fine. Then gene therapy is another important topic from unit 12 that you need to understand. So these are the topics that you need to prepare for unit 12. Now, most of the times the questions are punched between unit 12 and unit 6, unit 12 and unit 13. That's why I do not keep uh, unit 12 separated. There are also questions asked from unit 12 regarding the plant breeding. You need to understand plant breeding, marker assisted selection. Another very important concept about the unit 12 which is very important for CSIUGC net is the fermentation technology and the type of fermentation that is batch fermentation, fed batch fermentation and continuous culture. All these different culture processes and bioreactors, different types of bioreactors, their advantages, disadvantages, their properties and all these things that you need to understand. So this is the best way to prepare unit 13 to keep a notebook. And remember always I, I, if you follow this series of videos regarding the different unit preparation for CSIG Senate exam, I always told you to have a notebook. For every single unit you should have a notebook where you should note down all the minute details and information. If it's cell signaling processes, you should uh, make flowcharts about it. If it's techniques, you should write about what, why, when, where, how and advantages and disadvantages of every single technique regarding it okay and think about hypothetical situation and think about what technique you can apply to get an answer uh, from that hypothetical situation that's how you should build your concept of research aptitude in your mind that's what they check in unit 30 and also again if you are fond of uh, like biostatistics you can prepare the chi square test problems it will not take much of a time just chi, chi square test problem will be enough you don't need to study the biostatistics from the beginning and you can uh, just uh, really like like forget about the biomedical techniques because it's not that important but yeah uh, the bio uh, like immunological techniques are important so immunological techniques regarding the Coombs test as well as octanolone double diffusion all these things immunoelectrophoresis RIA, ELISA these things are also important that's what you need to uh, figure out and remember in your mind as well while you're preparing unit 13 so that's all about unit 13 uh, preparation i believe you understood how to prepare unit 12 and 13 in the best possible way for upcoming csi gc net exam if you like this video please hit the like button share your information share your uh, knowledge about this unit 13 as well in the comments and subscribe to our channel to get more videos like that thank you